Vice President Shetima has said the Nigeria government is not obviously um, oblivious to the fact that the coming Ramadan will not be observed in the best of economic and social condition for most citizens. Most Nigerians will experience severe challenges this coming Ramadan, says uh, Shetima. Shetima said most Muslims faithful will be confronted with severe challenges during this sacred month due to the economic reforms introduced by the administration of President Tinubu. Shetima made this known during a pre-Ramadan lecture organized by the University of Lagos Muslim Alumni in Lagos State. He stated that the economic policies and choices made by the current government come with challenges and difficulties that are having debilitating effects on the poor. The event was themed Economic Reforms for Nigeria, Challenges and Prospects for the Future. Shetima, who was presented by his, uh, rep presented by his special advisor on political matters, Hakim Baba Ahmed, appealed to Nigerians to protest the current economic challenges in the country in a responsible and mature manner. He said the leadership of President Tinubu recognizes that the Ramadan will come with severe challenges for most Nigerians. The road to where we are today was long and full of missed opportunities and tragic failures to build on our great potential. The consequences of our past are the stark realities we face today, such as rising cost of living and uh, pessimism, pessimism over our prospect to turn around our economy in the direction of growth and inclusive development. Yet, my brothers and sisters, we do not have the choice of continuing in the direction that brought us where we are today. We have to fix this country and failure to do this is not an option. All the options we have are difficult and challenging and they are without a doubt more telling on the people. If they are easier and reliable alternatives to the policy choices we have adopted, we would have adopted them. Our administration does not plan to make lives of Nigerians most dif more difficult, nor do we intend to deceive fellow citizens that the challenge in direction and the expected outcome can be achieved without pain or sacrifices. We are also acute acutely aware that ours is a set of related Nigeria problems and the solutions we seek must be genuinely informed by a Nigerian context not the experiences of others or the preferences of special foreign interests which are removed from consequences of missteps or errors of judgment fellow alumni i appeal to you to help make space for our administration to achieve the goal of turning our nation around as product of distinguished institution we have learned that progress is only possible if it is informed by criticism and critical scrutiny we expect that Nigerians should express their feelings over our circumstances in a responsible and mature manner. We are also uh, a deeply religious people and we believe in the powers of faith and prayers. Let us be reminded that Allah um, tests his servants with a ease and hardship and he asks that we pray to him for relief from hardship and discipline in times of abundance i join you in praying that allah will grant us the privilege and undertaking our ramadan fast as prescribed by him and we shall receive the reward hmm. Hmm. you see how they are deceiving people how they are deceiving people the question is that who are you to tell people how to react who are you to tell them how to react whether uh, maturely or immaturely? The sacrifices you are telling people to pay, is it affecting you? Now, you cannot tell me that uh, the way and manner you came. Oh, you can say, oh, you were, you know, you were comfortable, all of you. See this, uh, uh, Akin Baba, that is the brother of uh, uh, the running mate of Peter B. Yeah, uh, uh, Baba Yusuf. See what he's saying. This man that used to be, you know, on the other side, you know, on the neutral ground, telling the government what to do. He's the one who is now representing Shetima. All of you, you cannot tell me now that uh, 
your income has not increased because you can't tell me that you are still let's even say maybe you are not even stealing money or whatever but the enjoyment you are getting now is more than what you were enjoying shetima as a former governor tinumbubu had been governor for more than how many years ago now his status has changed that is just the way it is because of this uh, situation that we found ourselves your status has changed your your uh, source of income has increased but you are telling nigerians you are impoverishing them and you are telling them to be to be do what to what these guys can stay eight years they will tell you that uh, the rot in the system can last more than last more than 10 years they can say it they because they will, with what, what they are saying now they are going to waste a lot of time because i can remember last year Shesima was telling nigerians that uh, it will take a year and seven months or 17 months or so for nigeria to be for nigeria to start experiencing good things before they were sworn in, Shetima told Nigerians that uh, they are going to face a lot of uh, 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 hardship. And this is exactly what we are faced with. When as Nigerians not experiencing hunger, is that your prayers? I thought you said you will look into insecurity, Mr. Shetima. May God wrote, visit all of you during this Ramadan. Will you and your family be among them? This man still have mouth to say this kind of thing. It's very shameful. These people like brainwash look at what the leader is telling them and they are very happy that uh, their leader is talking is it not a uh, the same thing in the other side the christian the christians uh, that, they are, that the jew has said this so you don't know what he's saying you what do you expect him to say that is exactly what they have done it is a uh, this man that is not talking i was talking and he thought he felt that uh, what he was saying is not even resonating with the people because what he's saying is different from what is in his heart I mean the Sultan of Sokoto telling Nigerians that it is as a result of their sin. And later I came in back, coming back to tell us a cock and bull story. It's just a ridiculous situation we found ourselves. During Jonathan's time, they all gathered at Toyota in Lagos State to protest. Things were still better than now. Are uh, those protesters blind or deaf and dumb, including the Ugboni society that came out that day to protest? What I like about this administration is consistency and always reporting about the challenges they are facing and knowing that the masses are affected badly and doing their best. We keep quiet. Did Jonathan not give a uh, give a partial uh, same excuse and constant uh, reporting? I know I'm going to find a uh, someone like you who will be deceived by these crafty, wicked politicians with the mind games they are playing with Nigerians. So after reporting, what do you do? What do they do? If Obi was president and gave this kind of a hardship, una don, una, uh, una for don't enter street now. Yeah. The only thing that remains is the air we are breathing. If they have power, they wouldn't, uh, they would have switched off the air by now. Very wicked set of people. So guys, I'll let's say your opinion and I will take on this.